Local 24 News, meteorologist Chelsea Chandler with the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. All right, well, we do have a heat advisory again for the majority of the Mid-South. Our eastern counties in Tennessee from Dyer County, Crockett, Madison, and McNary not included. However, you could still see these temperatures feeling uh, well into triple digits. So all of us need to be safe. The heat advisory means 105 to 109 feel like temperatures. So dangerous heat no matter where you are until 7 p.m. Expect these every single day this week. The National Weather Service is just doing them day by day. So that's uh, their prerogative. Right now, 77. We just took a dip because of sunrise. We are seeing the rest of the area anywhere from the low 70s to the upper 70s. So we're kind of all in the same boat right now. It still feels pretty gross. It's not quite as humid as it was yesterday morning, but it's still pretty nasty. We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds all day long. And then as we head into the afternoon, if you're lucky enough, you'll get a shower and a thunder shower, and that will help you cool down a little bit. We'll be in the low 90s, but you know we won't feel that way. So again, our rain chance is pretty low at 30%, and they clear out before the evening. So as far as what it's going to feel like, unfortunately, Unfortunately, it is hot and only getting hotter. So 107 today, 104. And again, this is in Memphis. So some areas like the Delta, we see um, higher numbers. So again, between 105 and 109 is a pretty safe bet uh, virtually every single day until we get to Friday at 110, which means we'll likely see a um, excessive heat warning. And that's when you are above 100 and, or at 110 and above. So again, it's going to get really hot. And the unfortunate news is even though we dipped to 106 on Saturday, Sunday is supposed to be the hottest day. Yeah, awesome. All right, here's some tips to keep yourself and your family safe. First and foremost, stay hydrated. Start hydrating early and often and continue throughout the day. You want to take frequent breaks indoors, in the shade, whatever it is you have to do to stay a little bit on the cooler side. You want to wear light colored, loose fitting clothing, check on loved ones and make sure their AC is okay, especially the elderly, your pets, and uh, obviously look before you lock. Cracking windows is not enough. These temperatures will become lethal very quickly. We have two different types of heat illness that I'm going to continue to tell you you about. Uh, if you are feeling faint, uh, nauseous, you've clammy, you've got a weak pulse, you feel uh, like you may uh, have some muscle cramps, uh, you need to get inside, get hydrated and cool down. Now, if you are not sweating, you have dry, hot, red skin, you have a very rapid pulse, uh, you are uh, feeling like you might pass out, call 911, you may be having a heat stroke and that could be problematic. Now, even though it is very hot, people are still going out and about. David Daler sent in this gorgeous picture of a butterfly. I believe this is in Shelby Farm, so I appreciate that. So if you have any pictures, whatever it may be. You can always see it, snap it, and send it to us in our uh, free app you can get in the store. Now, as far as rain, right now not seeing anything that's pretty much ground clutter. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the week you're going to see these rain chances drop off and then pick back up as we head into the weekend. But overall, we're just about to see these temperatures soar way up to 97. I, it just it just hurts my soul to even talk about it. But you can see it does start to get slightly cooler as we head into next week. So, fingers crossed. Now, we'll take a look at what's going on on the roadways and 